about to get real up in here. Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here, and today was supposed to be my Ipsy video, um, but the tracking on my Ipsy has not updated since 2.30 a.m. last Saturday. Five whole days, and it hasn't updated, and I don't know why, and I'm a little frustrated, but um, I decided to uh, swap my Ipsy video for what was going to be next week's video, um, which is what is in my hospital bag. I am officially full term at 37 weeks this week. Um, so I just thought I would show you what's in my bag, what's in my baby's bag, and um, some of the stuff isn't packed yet. It's kind of like last minute packing stuff. So um, I will show you my list for that as well. Okay, so this is my baby's bag and there isn't actually that much in here because the hospital provides pretty much everything you're gonna need. Um, but I do have her baby book. I have her baby blanket that my mom made her. I have a couple of burp cloths and then I have her coming home outfit. This is her little outfit with the little onesie with the lace on it and the yellow tutu with the lace on it and the white and yellow headband. So cute. Um, so that's her coming home outfit. While you're at the hospital, the baby doesn't really need clothes because the hospital will, will provide stuff for her. Just in case we're having a boy, just in case she ends up being a he, um, I'm also taking this little yellow onesie with these blue pants and this outfit obviously can be for a girl too you add a little add the little headband back to it or the tutu to the bottom of this um, but just in case I thought I would be prepared for surprises and that's it guys that is it for the baby's bag I'm not packing diapers or anything like that because the hospital has it so let's move on to my bag so in here I have a notebook and pen I have some extra underwear, although I personally prefer to wear the underwear that they give you at the hospital um, for recovery and the way home, um, the journey home, but just in case, I brought a couple pairs of my own. I am taking a little bit of makeup. I don't wear makeup during labor and delivery. I mean, I haven't yet anyway, but I do like to feel like a human being on my way home, so I am just taking foundation, powder, mascara, and eyeliner. That's it. I predict I will be in a hospital gown most of the time. Um, I know some people prefer to wear their own clothes when they're in the hospital, but um, for me, it's just easier to recover in the hospital gown. Um, but I am taking my own robe for after labor and delivery um, and I'm taking a pair of maternity shorts to go home in but I don't think I'll wear them I think I'll probably just end up wearing my sweatpants that are down here um, because you know the nether regions are a little tender at that point and you just want to be comfortable now this you saw in my vacation packing video um, it is just my travel bag I mean my everything travel bag um, I have some shampoo in here. I have some dry shampoo, deodorant, um, body wash, face wash, all that kind of stuff. The only extra things that I have are a couple of medical things, which if you are a new mama or you're going to be a new mama, I highly recommend getting tux and getting dermaplast. Um, those are the two things that will keep you cool and comfortable after the physical trauma of having a baby. Other than that, on this side, I just have my regular stuff that I always have in here that I may or may not use. Um, you know, my brush, my razor, my face wipes, a um, couple other hair styling things, which I probably won't use, but I just always have them in here, so it's just easier to leave them in. And then in this little baggie, I just have some nursing pads, so that's kind of the one thing on this side that I will probably be using. Now, in the end here, I just stuck um, a list of the extra things that I still need to pack. Um, I am going to take a maternity tank top with me. It's in the laundry right now, which you can probably hear in the background, so I'm sorry. Um, my nursing bra is also in the laundry. I do plan on taking my straightener because, like I said, on the way home, sometimes you just want to feel like a human being, and the straightener is the easiest um, for me, my straightener and my blow dryer. Um, I also need to pack a phone charger and my computer and cord. I hope you found this video helpful or at least kind of interesting. 
Hopefully my Ipsy bag will be here by next Wednesday. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if I should email them. They're probably getting bombarded with emails right now. I'm trying not to be like one of those customers, you know, who like freaks out because their bag is a little bit late, but um, it's kind of frustrating that it hasn't even updated in a few days. It's one thing to see that it's on its way, but it's another thing to see that it maybe didn't even make it to e-commerce. So maybe it like fell off the truck on the way there. I don't know. Anyway, I hope it's here by next week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.